Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and welcome. This is a special presentation today. We have an open box review for the brand new B25J Mitchell in 1 to 48 scale from Hong Kong Models. We've been lucky enough to have one of these sent from the factory. Uh, this is a pre-production model, so it's missing a couple of bits. It doesn't have the manual or the decals yet. So the decals are still being printed by Cutograph, but at least we've got all the plastics and all the photo which, which is inside. So let's have a closer look at this. Okay, so from the top camera, let's have a look. Really nice box art. So the box art is really highly detailed. Piece of art, really. And actually, when we open it up inside, you'll see what's so good about the box art too. Now, we've got the B25J. So J is the last version of the B25 that was produced. Uh, the Mitchell, of course, which is this B25, as was known. It was named after, um, uh, was it General Mitchell? One of those. And this is the glazed nose version. So the last version produced actually went back to its bomber configuration, but quite a few of them were modified again to strafing. So this has actually got a bomb bay and all of the self-defense weaponry, and then also the strafing eight guns on the front. Or was it nine guns? Stuff like that. But it looks pretty impressive. So we've got a wingspan of just over 40 centimeters and 34 centimeter length. And total number of parts, 249. So let's crack it open, have a closer look. All right, what have we got here? Box full of good bits. Now you can just see what I was talking about before. Actually, it will come with a print. So it's a box art of the original artwork, and they'll be really nicely framed and look beautiful. All right, so let's move this aside and let's look at all the bits. All right, let's start with the fuselage. Well, the fuselage halves here. Let me just take these out of the plastic so we can have a closer look. Now the B25 has already been made by Hong Kong Models. Now Hong Kong Models initially were specialists in 132 scale. And they've um, started uh, making 48 scale. So the, the first aircraft they did was the B17, which is a very popular aircraft. And then they did the Lancaster and now the b25 and this version is really impressive um, also because of the number of guns on it now the b25 was um made really famous by the do little raid so if you're not sure about that you'll probably get all the, the finer details and look it up on on the google they'll tell you everything but um that's when the u.s attacked tokyo after the uh the raids on hawaii and pearl harbor and it was a real morale booster for the US and it was a real demoralizer for the Japanese who thought they were untouchable at the time. So having a close look at the fuselage, you can see all those really fine rivets. Now they're not very deep at all, which is great because it's very scale and you'd be able to bring all those out with a dark wash. So the panel lines too, super nice. Okay, so there's the tail area. So you'll have your horizontal stabilizers there. Rear gun. You see the waist gun here. Opening for the turret on the top. And you'll see here, this is carried over from the 32nd scale aircraft. This is the bayonet wing mounting system. The great thing about it is there's a really firm, stiff section. So it's going to have the alignment perfect. And also it allows you to actually pull apart or clip together the aircraft easily without any glue. So if you're taking this to a model competition, you probably want to unclip this so you can easily pack it without damage. Here we get into the cockpit session and then the nose. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of options for the nose offered as well. Now, if we spin this around, you'll see all the ribbing detail here. That's because there's interior detail too. So this is a feature that's been carried over from the larger kit. See all that nice ribbing there. Okay, this particular section here, that's the bomb bay area. The waist gun and all the way to the tail it's got full ribbing super nice okay so that's one side obviously the other side is going to be the same but let's just have a quick look so you see all that beautiful detail super crisp as you can see there's no flashing at all and then again all your interior ribbing it's just beautiful Okay, 
So there's your fuselage. What do we got next? So we've got this bag here. It's got a couple of sprue in it. Looks like we've got some tail sections. Two sets right there. So we'll go over here. I've got our tail section. You've got your horizontal stabilizers here. You've got your, your verticals there. The rudders, as you can see, the rudders are separate, so you can uh, change their, their setting. And then we've got some other control surfaces as well. You've got the elevators. And others are probably flaps. Now let's get a, a tighter look here. Let's get that focused. There we go. And again, you can see that super fine detail on the surface. Just across here. Really fine panel detail and rivet detail. Again, on the underside. And then you've got some nice ribbing here and rivets on control surfaces. You see that slight concave finish. And then the flat panels here as well. Super fine surface detail. So those on the, uh, the vertical stabilizers. And then you've got your rudders here. See that? So they actually have this sort of fabric look to them. There's a little bit of a, a curvature there. That should be... I thought that was shrinkage, but that's actually part of the, the shaping of it. Look on the other side. There you go. So it's got a real fabric look. Very nicely done. Okay, so that's that sprue there. What have we got here? All right, so this one's got the, the Bombay area. Got the tail gun there. You've got the weighted front wheel. Cockpit sections. There's the actual instrument panel. A heap of machine guns. These are all the barrels and all the receivers here. And you'll see here how the mold has got that step. This shows that there has been a slide molding. Okay, and slide molding actually gives detail this way. So by doing that, there's actually little holes here for all the receivers to, re to take the barrels. And the ends of the barrels have actually got a very small indentation. So it's almost like to drill it out. Not drill it out all the way because they're very thin. But if you want to continue on with a very fine drill bit, it'd be very easy to follow that and drill them out. Okay, let's get a bit tighter. Always have trouble focusing here. There we go. All right, so we've got our bomb bays. Okay, these are the sides. And then you've got your cockpit floor. So areas for the two seats will just be sitting there. That's uh, one of the bulkheads for the, the bomb bay. That again, other side. Over here, I think these are the blisters for the machine guns on the sides, are they? They look like it. Okay, so there's one per gun on each side, so two on the sides of the cockpit. You have the seats here. There's also a photo etch seat belt that'll go with that. And we'll look at the instrument panel and see how they're inset. The, uh, the dials there. Pedals are already molded in place, keeps it simple. The bulkhead. There's the weighted tyres. You can see the flat section here. Always adds really nice weight and uh, depth to your model. Okay, this part here is the canvas covered tail gun. There's holes there for two machine guns. I've got a strut here. It's probably the front undercarriage strut. And then here we've got all the machine gun barrels. See all those? Heaps of them. And there's more to come actually because there's there's more machine guns that are mounted in this thing. All the receivers there. Absolutely beautiful. Especially how the fabric's been portrayed. I think they've done a really good job on that canvas. Okay, what have we got next? All right, let's do some clear bits. Okay, so clear bits, they're going to be super hard to see. What happens if I zoom in a bit? Oh, it's a bit better. 
You still see how clear they are. Let's take them out of this plastic to start with. Okay, so if I get the reflections right, hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm on about. Okay, so here's a glass nose section. Let me see if I've got something darker. Let's see if this blue's going to work better. Is this going to help? It's helped me before. Is that better? Marginally. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so there's the top of the glass nose. That's just in front of the cockpit. You can see how you've got really fine uh, metal framework that's molded in. We've got the waist guns. You've got the turret. That's the, do you call it the dorsal turret? That's the one at the back, just behind the cockpit. That's for the tail gun. Got a wing lenses. They're focused, I'm not sure. It's out of focus. It's out of focus. That's probably about right. And then here we have two cockpit glass choices. They're very subtle. This particular version here has got extra framework across the windscreen there. So we've got, I think this is actually a stand. So this stand here, I think is to support the tail because this is a tricycle undercarriage and without any weight, it'll be really heavy on the tail. So this is meant to support it and being clear, it's hard to see. But they've actually upped the ante with this kit because they've actually included, if I find it, there's a molded section. It's a molded nose weight. Okay, which is really, really nice. I mean, it's not the first time it's been included in a kit, but it's great that the manufacturer has actually thought about it. You see how it's cast in a particular shape. So it fits in a particular area. I think it's very close to the Bombay area. It fits within the fuselage. And it saves the, the tail from hitting the ground. So you've got this huge weight out the front. Really clever. That's quite weighty. All right, so there's a nose weight, which is a nice plus. What else have we got? Okay, so over here, we've got a bunch of bombs. And again, some more machine guns. Let's open this up. Okay, so there's another set of machine guns. So you can see it's been slide molded. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. You can see the holes there for the barrels. Then the barrels themselves, I actually needed a mag visor to see, but they actually got the small indentation of where the barrel openings are. So hence the slide molding there. But over here, they've got really nice, uh, what do you call it, cross drilled venting detail Let's see how close i can get here have gone too far i don't know maybe you can see it let's see if i move it around you might be able to pick it up it's cross drilled all over super nice and then look at the detail on those receivers so heaps of guns on this thing super gun this thing is Okay, so it's there, and then we've got the bombs. Okay, so they're in halves. Again, super, super clean. No flash at all. So what have we got there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six bombs in total. Very nice. Okay, let's move on. We've got some more small stuff here. So I think this is another option on the nose. So before we had a clear section for the glass nose. This appears to be a solid section. So let's get that clear again. Is that the same as that bit? No, it's different. No, I'm totally, totally wrong there. So please disregard that. We'll check the manual and see what that's all about. Okay, so we've got more machine guns here. Again, slide molded. Got this big panel. We'll check the manual and see what that's about. And then we've got some 
some perhaps instruments here and more instruments at the back there. So you can see all the detail that's on this particular panel. You have fine rivets and panel detail all the way around. Then over here, got some instruments there. And then we've got some more machine gun receivers. And there's a barrel there as well. I'm guessing this is ammo. Looks like an ammo shoot off kinds. Okay. Now we've got this huge bag here with the wings. Well, let me crack this open. Now the wings are quite impressive. All right, so we've got two sprue. You've got your left and right, of course. Let's pop this one over here. Now what I'm gonna show you is, just look at the reflection. You got heaps and heaps of surface detail, all the rivets, panel lines, and look at the fabric, which is on this Aerolon. Just got the little channels that have been molded in. Got this flex se uh, section here, which is going to take the nacelle on the engine. Cut out here for lights, and also on the tips. So you see here, let's get in there tight. I don't know why, but focusing on my finger and seeing all the wrinkles generally works for me. Helps me focus. All right, there we go. See all the scallops here? Super nice. Okay, so you can see that framework underneath that fabric. And then you see all the, uh, the access hatches. You've got the panel lines and lots of rivet detail. Okay, maybe you can see more rivet detail this way. Okay, so that's the base of the wing. I mean, look at all those rivets just there. Amazing. And then we've got the engine nacelles. Again, they have a huge amount of rivet detail and panel lines on them. And then we get into the top of the wing. There we go. How impressive is that? Scalloping again. It's all that surface detail for a 48 scale kit. Truly amazing. Here's the top of the engine nacelle. Okay, and then obviously the other side. So the other side's gonna look exactly the same. Got some nice cutouts here. Sculping again. And then you got really tight here. That's where navigation lamp's gonna be. And then over here you've got the open section there for glass as well. And then you've got some control surfaces. That's something I didn't look at on the other sprue. You've got control surfaces there. These will be the, uh, the flaps. Really nice. Okay, so we've got that. What else have we got? So since we're zoomed in already, let's look at some photo etch. All right, so there's two sheets of photo etch included. Okay, so here we've got seat belts and some other doodads. So seat belts across the top. These bits here, that part here, I think is actually bent and put into the bomb bay. These curve sections, not too sure. And then we have the armor. Okay, so this armor is put on the uh, side of the fuselage, on the cockpit. You have the choices of photo etch, or there's also plastic versions there as well. I mean, I'd go with the photo etch ones. Super thin. Okay, so there's your photo etch. Let's pop that back in here. All right, let's zoom out again. Now, what do we got? We've got our final sheet, which has got a few chunky bits on it. So I've got some props and engines. All right, so we've got our engine cowls. So the cowls are here, one piece rather than multi-piece. That's nice because then you don't have to worry about glue marks and such. We've got the main landing wheels here. They're all 
weighted and totally bulged two props landing struts and then the rest of the uh, yeah radial engines and then there's the back here with the intake vent let's have a closer look there's my finger to focus on there we go okay so let's look at these cows look how nice they are and these actually have like super nice rivet detail on them too. Let me see if I can get the angle right. Really nice. Here's the other one. Super clean moulds. And here's our weighted wheels. You see how they're bulged right here. You might be able to see it just there. They're actually sticking out a bit at the bottom point your radial mounts what do you call these things again they're sort of exhausty penalty thingies not very technical when it comes to aircraft I just like building stuff there's your um, uh, ends for the props and then we've got our radials here so radials are pretty basic I'm sure if you wanted them super super detailed you could get some aftermarket stuff where you have really fine push rods and such but for all intensive purposes if you just wanted to build a kit I think these are pretty good already you can probably enhance them with a bit of wire some thin copper wire and then we've got our props and the props are nice too because they're all in one piece they're all attached to the spinner so I mean it used to be really popular to have all your blades separate probably makes manufacturing easier but Trying to align them and getting that perfect angle is not so easy. So having them like that is a real boon. Okay, so there are all your bits there. I think that's all the plastic. Is that all the plastic? So if that's all the plastic, we're left with a really beautiful print. Beautiful work by Poiter Foxuisk. I'm not very good at pronouncing names. That looks uh, Polish to me, but that's a beautiful glazed nosed B25 portrayed at late January 45 beautiful okay so that's all I've got to show you out of the box I do have the manual which is electronic because they haven't been printed yet let's have a look at the manual all right so the manual we have actually in electronic format at the moment which is not a bad thing we'll still see what's going on okay so we've got the the front of the manual very classic Hong Kong models nice box art to replicate the front and then we've got a description of the actual aircraft here and that goes all the way across some little guides here a few cautions and then there's some symbols there on how to read the manual as you're going through so the first thing we're going to be doing is building the cockpit so here you've got the the control columns, <coughs> I think. What have we got here? No, that'll be for. I don't know, it looks like there's a seat there. Maybe someone who knows more about B25s can tell me what that bit is. I'm guessing this could be for the uh, the dorsal fin gunner. Okay, so we've got the seats, the seat belts here, and the photo wedge. Here we've got the, uh, the base of the cockpit, the seats going in, and the instrument panel. You get your bulkhead there at the back. The bomb bay is getting built with the bombs inside. There's a bit of photo wish that gets folded up, two sides, and that gets put together and it's like a box section. And from here, we start working on the size of the fuselage. So I've got some instruments going in. We've got a dorsal gun. Is it a dorsal gun? Waste gun. Some more waste guns on the side here. I've got a couple of holes that are getting drilled out. That's probably for the uh, the side mount uh, machine guns. Another waste gun going in that side. Oh, okay, so what we were building before was this bit. So that is for the uh, the dorsal gunner. You've got this bulkhead, which is a sub-assembly for the bomb bay. And then we've got the cockpit going in. There's a the cockpit weight right there. And that's going to stop the tail from dragging. We've got the tail gun getting assembled and popped inside. We've got a sandwich of the two halves here. Glass going in for the waste. 
Then we start working on the tail section. So horizontal stabilizer, you've got the elevators going on, separate. You've got the horizontal, uh, sorry, the verticals and also the rotors. And then we've got that attached to the fuselage with a glass section and also the cover for the tail gunner. We've got your choices of your different glass here for the cockpit. We've got, what have I got here? 14-1. Oh, okay, that's a framework for the, uh, the dorsal gun. So the machine guns are sitting inside here before you put on the little glass house. So we've got the bottom of the fuselage, the bomb bay doors, the side, all the waist guns are going into place, front bulkhead. Here's your alternatives for the uh, armor plate on the side, so plastic versions or the photo etch. Over here we've got uh, E18, in-flight version, what are they? Okay, so that's for closed bomb bay doors. You need to do some alterations to do that. And then we've got the wings going together and the engines. Get your lights and the glass. Here we've got the control servers, you've got the flaps down and the ailerons. Actually, that's just flaps, I think. Ailerons are on the end, right? the engine nacelles and then landing on the carriage so a bit of a guide here to make sure you get the uh, engine nacelle over the tail uh, no, the landing leg so it's got the right way around there we go again for the other side the other wing again same thing engine nacelles and such and here we start working on the nose okay so you've got choices of two noses here so there's this one which has got the two machine guns and then you've got this one which has got 10 million machine guns okay so you got your choices there so you can see this one that's got the two machine guns that's got the ammo belt and see how that simply goes together so they both use the same glass section on the top very simple assembly there but when we go to the the up gun one, you can see the 10 million machine guns getting mounted inside there. Okay, so we end up with one, two, three, four, five in the nose alone. And obviously there's a different frontage for the glass and you've got the 10 million machine gun version right there. All right, from there, we'll move on to doing the undercarriage. So you've got your choices, there's your two noses you can choose. The clipped in wings, so you just slide into the bayonet section like so and then it's a matter of putting together the wheels getting them all mounted up and that's it okay so here's a legend of all the parts your fuselages your wings bombs machine guns tail section bomb bay and cockpit area your props and engines and then all your glass pieces your photo etch and then the nose weight. Now these are the different decals that are going to be supplied. She's engaged and then you have the Indian one here which is uh, being depicted on the box art there on the oh you can actually see right here that's quite a nice looking version there isn't it a huge bit of art and then what have we got on the nose your cactus kitten that's quite nice. And then the other one, where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. Actually, there's three, there's four options. Okay, then we've got, is there four options? Was that on the other side? Oh no, that's just the other side. And here's the other option. This one's engaged. Okay, so it looks like a bare metal version. And with some stripes on the, uh, the tail. And on the other side of She's Engaged, there's the nose art and all the bombs there for the number of missions. How good is it? Nice. And then we've got a paint chart. Whoops, let's move it up here. There's your paint chart. So this has got all the colors here and you've got choices of AK Interactive, Tamiya Code, or Gun's Mr. Hobby Codes as well. So there you go. That is it. That is my 
open box review of this brand new B25 glazed nose. So this should be out uh, late October, I think, around the world. And I hope you enjoy that and consider buying one. So if you like that um, review, please give me a like down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please think about subscribing. So thank you for watching.